Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I want to make a video uh, following my previous video about uh, using a using a software called Avid Max. Um, I just wanted to do a video showing you guys how to actually install it, just in case for any anyone who's wondering. Um, the previous video I made was about how to how to use Avid Max to convert a uh, two a uh, 3D video, 3D stereoscopic video into a 2D uh, video and if you ever run into this problem it's a super handy thing to know and uh, it's definitely a tutorial to watch if if uh, you haven't watched already so the the actual software we used was called Avid Max and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install it so first we can just go to google google.com and we'll look we'll type it in Avid Max um, and as always I prefer to go to download.com and then download stuff just because it's a million times safer than actually going to random websites and downloading it even though it might be the original site for the software so uh, yeah once we go uh, if you want I can we can just go to download.com here type in Evan Max I'll put a link in the description as well so it'll be easier for you guys to find it and then this is the software we're looking for you can see there's so many downloads of it already 700,000 click on it and we'll click download now it's not a big file so it shouldn't take too long it's about 17 megabytes so you'll see here it's downloading okay so once it's done downloading we'll click on it to run click yes when it asks us and here it shows it's unpacking so once we're here in this screen this is the setup screen so we'll just click next click I agree and then here we can just click next and you can check off here if you want an icon on your desktop and if you want an icon in your start start menu uh, and this program once again if I didn't mention it it is a completely free software it's not even uh, like adware or anything it's just completely free some software you get it for free but when you're installing it it asks you do you want to install Yahoo toolbar and all this extra stuff this one doesn't have any of that this is just pure software only which is very nice and we'll click next and we'll click install here here you can if you want to install it in a separate folder somewhere you can click browse and save it somewhere else but I'm going to save it directly on my C drive, program files, click install, and then I'm going to uncheck this where it says view change log now, I'll uncheck that, and then we're going to go click, we're going to, I'm going to run it, so run Evidmux now, I'll have that checked and we'll click finish. Okay, so it should be opening, and yep, you can see that it opened under here and although it might seem complicated this i i've used this a ton of times now and this is one of the best software uh when it comes to manipulating videos and uh it's not exactly a video editing software but you can you can change a lot of uh characteristic settings of a video using this software um so one example is the converting a 3D video to a 2D video I use this um, and because it's free there's n it's it's just a huge bonus to have and another another time when I used this for example another time that this software came in handy was I had a video an old video where um, the m it, it was a movie and it had become corrupted and the video was like whenever I clicked on it it was giving me an error and the video wouldn't play and nothing would happen so what I basically did was I just um, opened the video in this in the software I opened it uh, loaded the video and then after that um, I, I I kept the settings mainly the same and I I, I and I re re uh, resave the video again and this this software pretty much rebuilds the entire movie or video in, in a way that the there's no errors in it so it kind of fixed all the errors that had that were in that
video. So if you have errors in your in some movie or some video you have and you need to get it fixed, run it through this program. More than likely, it will be fixed. So, yep, this that's pretty much the, what this tutorial was about, how to install Avid Max. I hope this video helped you guys out for those of you who are looking for this. Uh, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll make more videos on special tricks and stuff you can do with the software. Once again, this is called Avid Max. It's a free software and um, it's definitely a tool to have in your software toolbox, I guess you could say. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, yep, take care. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.